Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're working on some harder trigonometric equations so we can answer questions from exercise 10e. So let's have a look at the first equation. What we're going to be looking at is when we have uh, something inside the bracket with the theta on the sine cos of the tan value. So we're going to have a look at this question here. Solve the equation for cos 2 theta equals minus 1 in between theta is 0 to 360. Okay, so what we have to do first is we're going to have to change the angle at which we're causing, um, not from 0 to 360, but from uh, for it for 2 pi. So the first thing we do is change the domain, and we multiply by 2, because obviously we have a 2 theta in here. If we had a 3 theta, we'd be tripling each side of the boundary. In this case, we're just doubling both sides of the boundary. So what we're going to do next is we're going to find all the values now, such that when we do cos of that value, we get minus 1. So we're going to effectively find all the values for 2 theta and what 2 theta could equal. So on the um, cos 2 theta minus 1, we do inverse cos and we get 2 theta equals 180 degrees. And that kind of makes sense according to our diagram here. We can clearly see that we'll have a... Uh, intersection point at 180 and then nothing else in between 0 to 360 which is fine but remember our graph needs to go up to 720 so we're going to need to keep this going on and find the next solution along as well so remember we're also going to get one that's 360 degrees on from here which is 540 if we were to go 360 degrees further onwards from there we'd have a value bigger than 720, which we don't want. 900, we can exclude that because that's outside of our domain. So now that we've found all the values that when we do cos of it, we get minus 1 in between 0 to 720, now we half all of these angles to give us what theta needs to be. Okay, so theta here is going to be 90 and 270. That's to say that when you do cos of 2 times 90, you get minus 1, and when you do cos of 270, uh, 2 times 270, you get minus 1 as well. Okay, so the key bit here, and the bit that differs from most, um, from most trig equations that we've seen so far, is the fact that we have to change our domain to match up what's inside the sine, cos, or tan bit there. Okay, let's have a look at this one here, slightly more difficult. Solve the equation cos, so sine 2 theta minus 35 equals minus 1 from <clears throat> minus 180 to theta up to 180. So the first thing we do here is we change the domain. We double both sides of the theta value and we also subtract 35 from both sides of the theta. So we get now it's from 0, 3, so minus 395 to 325. Now we find all of these sine values that will give us minus 1 in between this boundary. So the first thing we do there is we do sine minus 1 to get our first solution, and we'll get 270 there. And then we'll work our way backwards by taking away 360 and forwards by adding on 360. So find all the values in the range. So we'll go onwards by 360 more to get to 630. However, we can see that's outside the boundary, so we probably won't need that one. We go backwards now to minus 90. Yeah, that's a good one. Back another 360 to what minus 450. That's outside the lower boundary, so we don't need that one. So we're just going to get two answers here. Now what we need to do is we need to find the value of theta that will give us these angles here that will sign to make minus 1. So first of all we will add on 35 and divide by 2 and we're going to get minus 27.5 and 152.5. Right, okay then, there's two sets of questions for this video here. Pause the video and have a go at the first set. Right, okay, then let's have a go at question 1b then. So we've got cos of 3 theta here. So this is going to mean that our graph needs to go up to 3 times 360, uh, which is 1080. So if we can imagine what's going to 
happen on the graph here. Cos, remember, starts at um, 0. So we go down, hit 360, go down, hit a 720, and go down and hit a 1080. So each time we've uh, reached a peak here, we've added on 360 degrees. Okay, so now what we want to find is the values that will give us minus 1 uh, for these values of 3 theta. So there should be a 3 in here. So 3 theta is going to equal, in the first case, um, we're going to do cos minus 1 of minus 1, which will give us 180. So that's our first solution here. And then we're going to add on 360 degrees each time to get the next solutions. So the next solutions are going to be 3 theta equals 180. So now we do 180 add 360 and we get 540. And then we add on another 360 and we get 900. So these are all of our values that when we do cos of it we get minus 1. So what we have to do now is divide through by 3, <clears throat> and we get 60, 540 divided by 3 is 180, and 900 divided by 3 is 300. Great, so these are our three answers for this question here. <clears throat> question 2b, we have a little 2 at the front of the sign here, so I think I'll just uh, divide by that straight away. Whoops, that's 20, not 2 theta, uh, equals 1 half. And now we're going to need to take away 20 from either side of our interval. So we've got from minus 20 to 340. So now let's draw the graph in between that region there, so it goes back a little bit, and it's going to be from 0 to 360. And this is the sine curve, remember. So for the sine curve, we're going to get two solutions for a half. The first solution is calculated by doing sine minus 1 of a half, which we should know off by heart by now, which is 30. And here, theta minus 20 will also equal this next solution up here, which is going to be, if we go 30 upwards from this point here, we're going to come 30 downwards from this point here, so that's going to be uh, 150. So now all that's left to... So we don't have any more values for sine of something equals a half. So we'll finish the question there. But first of all, we need to add on 20 back onto the other side. So it's 50 and 170. Those are our two answers there, that when we do sine of that angle minus 20, uh, we get a half. Right, OK, then have a go at these two questions now. Pause the video and try your best. Right, OK, let's have a go at this one here now. So let's start with 0 uh, for x to 180. Let's just change that to an x. And it's now going to be 70 minus x. So what we'll do now is we'll times through by minus 1. So it's now from minus 180 up to uh, 0, and add on 70. So this is going to be minus 110 up to 70. So that's going to be the interval that we're drawing cos in between. So let's just play it safe and draw it through to 180 on both sides. And now the question here is, find out what this value here of 6, 0.6 is. So the first thing we're going to do is cos minus 1 of 0.6. And this is going to give us cos minus 1, 0.6, 53.1. <clears throat> and the other solution here, if we go negative, is also going to be minus 53.1. The next thing that's left for us to do is to just find out what the value of x is for each of these for each of these different uh, trig values. So the first one's going to be uh, x equals 16.9, uh, 
and the next one's going to be 123.1. So just by uh, adding x to the other side and taking it or adding it onto the other side here. Okay, so question three here, let's have a go at this one. So we've got a sine bit to it and a cos bit to it. So thinking here, the first thing we should do here is turn this into a tan type question. So we're going to have three sine three theta and we're going to divide through by cos three theta on both sides. And we can divide by the three as well to get two thirds. So what we're actually working with here and what would be better to use is tan of 3 theta equals 2 thirds. The next thing we're going to do is change the interval, so that's going to be in between 0 and it's 3 theta, so we need to triple 180, so we get 540. So now what we do is we draw the tan graph out to 1, uh, so 540, so that would be at 90, the next squiggle would be at 270, Uh, add on 180 from there and we'll get 450. Add another squiggle there and this point here is going to be the 540 marker. So uh, what we need to do now is work out what tan minus 1 of 2 thirds is to get our first solutions. This is going to be 3 theta equals tan minus 1 of 2 thirds. So let's get your calculator out. Tan minus 1, 2 divided by 3 equals 33.7. Okay, so that's our first solution here. On, on the graph, it's going to look like 0 0.6 on the y-axis and 33.7 on the x-axis. And remember the little trick for working out new tan values is to just add on 180 each time, as that's how much it repeats. So it's 213.7. And then the next one is adding on 180, and we'll get 393.7. Okay, all that's left for us to do now is divide all of these angles by 3. So 33.7 divided by 3 is 11.2. 213 divided by 3 is 71. Point two, and that this one, last one will be 131.2. <clears throat> okay, so there we are. That's the final set of solutions for the final question here. Trigonometry is a really difficult topic, so make sure you do spend loads and loads of time having a go at exercise 10E um, until you master it. Make sure you go to your teacher when you've got any questions, and uh, yeah. Uh, make sure you have a go at lots of questions. Thanks very much for watching.